Some you lose some, Nick. Never mind, mate. Never mind. G'day, mate. Oh, g'day, Stacker. Um, you met Senior Constable Schultz. Yeah, we know each other. Uh, yeah. Senior Sergeant Croydon over here. Uh, Constables Doyle, Cooper, Detective Hashem. <laughs> Me mates. Mates. So thanks, Nick. Yeah. Here's to the Melbourne Cup, eh? Uh, map, sleep, report. Check. Battens. Check. Oh, oh, hello, Richard. Mate, you, you look good. Yeah. Let's have a spare parts for a human being. Yeah, let's have a keys without the criticism. Thanks, mate. No, sorry, mate. You'll, uh, you'll have to blow into a white tube before oh, I can give you a keys. Oh, have a heart, mate. You're still drunk. I can smell it from me. Yeah, it's Thomas Police. Senior Detective Hashman speaking. Just give me the keys, you great drongo. Oh, Sandra? A drongo? Yeah, now, boss, when was the last time you heard someone called a drongo? Don't ask me in the drongo. No, 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 Sandra, so you've got me wrong. Even though it is difficult to use the charms of the loans officer from the police credit co op. Is that for me? Yes, uh, she's on her way. I'll oh, rest. Sandra, hi, it's Maggie. Sorry about that. Oh, terrific. Thank you so much for doing that for me quickly. Uh, yeah, I can put him back on for you. Oh, I should tell you too that his wife's expecting their fifth. Yeah, two sets of twins. They're gorgeous kids. Well, most of the good ones are taken. I'll put you back on it. Oh, OK. Bye-bye. No, I wasn't coming on to her. She was coming on to me. And... I know. Yeah. That's for combo. Yeah, he said last night he'd be needing it. You spoil him, Chris. Oh, I spoil you, Rod. Mm -hmm. I deserve it. Aren't you going to be late for work? Hey. Compo! Wake up, breakfast. Oh, he, can you hold that for me for a tick? Mm -hmm. Come on, wait. This is unbelievable. Nobody keeps their room like this. Even Compo, he wouldn't do this. And he's missing. What's he doing living here anyway? He had a blue with his auntie Venetia and oh. she threw him out. <laughs> All right, we'll take over, mate. Oh, if you're passing the brown hour, you know what to Boss do. Boss wants his usual. Yep. yep. See you later. Good yeah. on you. Coffees? Oh, I love one. Go on, you Chrissy. So, where are you heading on this holiday of yours? What holiday? Yeah, your co-op line, just wondering what it's for. Well, wander away. What, are you uh, upgrading the car? No, nope, my car's fine. Placing the couch? Done that. Oh. Well, how much you borrow? A couple of grand? See, Mags, if uh, that loan is for Robbie, I'm going to have to put you in care. I've already told you it's none of your business. Compo, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, come on, on your feet, mate. Oh. Morning, Chrissy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I think it worked. The chiropractor, he told me a hard bed would be good for me back. Mm, did he? Yeah. And did he also recommend sleeping underground? Yeah. We... Get upstairs now. Ah, I found him sleeping in the cellar. Told me the biggest pack of lies I've heard since my ex-husband left town. How about some breakfast, Chrissy? Chook's got it. He's all yours. So, what's going on, Compa, hey? Well, I was just having a kip in the cellar, but to uh, be perfectly honest, I wasn't at my soberest when I made that decision. Hmm. <laughs> what can you tell us about your room? Nothing. Nothing. You sure about that? Well, I didn't trash it, if that's what you're implying. Well, who would want to go through your room, mate? Well, flaming everyone by the sounds of it. You blokes, Chrissy. You didn't go through my things, did you? Because if you no, did, no, 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 you listen, better have had a warrant. Hang on, hang on. You've, you've been burgled. Burgled? Yeah. Who'd do that? I don't know. I was going to ask you that. Oh, no idea. I mean, I haven't got an enemy in the world. Well, you don't get burgled by enemies, Compo. You get burgled by somebody who wants your stuff. You see, there's nothing personal in it. 
Well, if there's nothing personal, how would I flame and know who done it then? Well, we're going to need you to go upstairs and check and then we'll take some fingerprints for purposes of elimination, if that's okay. And to do that, I'd like you to accompany me to the station. <clears throat> that's what we say. Well, what are you waiting for then? Mount Thomas branch of the Totalisator Aid Agency Board has experienced a 12% fall off in turnover in the last month. This culminated in yesterday's Melbourne Cup takings, which... Which they don't like because the entire state of Victoria is financed by gambling. Ah, yeah. I'm sure you won't take the same high moral stance next time we require a new vehicle at the station. Well, basically what the tab are saying is they don't believe this uh, drop-off has got anything to do with people betting less. They think someone else is getting the 12%. So they reckon a starting price book is set up in Mount Thomas. Odds on, you're right. Is it from the Brown Owl? Chocolate eclairs all round. Thank you. Oh, Boss, no vanilla slices, I've got you a donut. Thanks very much. Well, we're discussing... Oh, goody, I'll make some coffee. You will not. We are discussing a job. So what's so wrong with a little bit of sneaky gambling? Because A, it's against the law, and B, it attracts vibes. Oh. Hey, Compo, I you got burgled, mate. Oh, yeah, must have been kids looking for money, you know. Just oh. made a mess and left. Uh, boss, come on, quick work. All oh, right. Uh, you, uh, you take his prints, thanks, mate. Yep. Come on, Cobbo. See if you get your hands dirty for a change. Mm -hmm. Yes, mate. As always. Boss, I'd like to organise to work an hour's overtime in lieu of taking an hour off. When would this hour occur? Well, now, if possible. I was going to ask you about it earlier, but we got called out to the Imperial. It's a personal matter. I want to take Robbie over to Thea Copeland's clinic. Thea Copeland, she's a hypnotherapist, didn't she? Well, yeah, she is, but she's also got a program for addictions, which is supposed to be very good. All right, off you go then. I hope it all works out. You see, mate, there, yeah, that's the regard. one. You see, the problem is, it could have been anybody sure, there. Oh, okay, I've just got to call on a cold bird. Do you want to come out? No, I can't, PJ. I'm leaving for that now. Well, that's right. It could have been anyone. I mean, so many people have been through that hotel. It could have been anyone. That's wouldn't, right, mate. Wouldn't hold your breath on catching that burglar, mate. Well, that's right, yeah. Yeah, okay, mate. Well, we'll see you again at our compound. Oh, I just remembered something. Yeah. I was interested in inquiring about joining the police. Well, uh, Mr Hayes, you see, the job requires a certain level of physical fitness and seeing you did your back at the age of two when you fell out of your crib... I think How about you tell me what I'm supposed to do, Smarty? Yeah, certainly, Mr Hayes. Uh, you can read this pamphlet and here we are. Something else for you to colour in as you read through. There you are, mate. Goodbye and good luck. Uh, I thought you might be wanting to interview me at length. Uh, not know? today, not today, mate. Off you go. Oh, I just remembered something. Um, oh, I've lost my car keys. Constable Cooper... Yeah. Mr Hayes has lost his car keys. Can you please endeavour to assist him? Yes, Mr Hayes. Yep. Yeah, all the keys turned in by the public end up in this box. So you can go through that. Oh, this could take a little while, I'm afraid. Yeah, um, that's yours, mate. Thank you. What is he doing hanging around? No, oh, don't ask. Robbie, if you don't want to go through with this, say so now. It's not that, it's... Do you want to do this? Hi. Hi. Thea, this is Robbie. Robbie, Thea. Hi, Robbie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. OK, uh, first things first, there's a few rules here before you start with us. Uh, you have to have been through withdrawal, right? And um, Which Robbie has. Uh, I'm sorry, Maggie. I need to hear this from Robbie. I have. Uh, rule number one, there's no using while you're here. Bugger. <laughs> He's joking, it's his sense of humour. He wouldn't do it. And you really need to be here for yourself and, and not for others. Well, he does want to be here for himself, not for me. I do, I do. I, um... Oh, I don't want to <laughs> end up dead on someone's couch, no. Yeah, uh, look, Robbie, I, I know about your friend and, and what happened. But uh, a lot of junkies see a lot of ODs and they still don't want to stop. I don't want to be a junkie. Well, I'm afraid you're going to be a junkie for the rest of your life. The question is how you become a junkie who doesn't use. I, I really need to do this. Yeah. OK, great. Then um, welcome aboard. Well, I better get going to work. Um, do you mind if I pay you now? No, no, no that's fine. I've um, had a bank cheque drawn up for 5120 Thank you. Wonderful. Robbie's very lucky to have such lovely support. Help you? I was wondering if I could help you. 
the bird that came in. Oh, no, that's fine, Mags. Uh, Dash and I handle that. You know, she's a very bright kid. She's going to make a damn fine detective one day. She doesn't let outside influences affect the job. Yes, PJ, whatever you say. I found out why you took out that loan, Mags. Hmm? To send Robbie to Thea Copeland's clinic. You check the prices, she charges like a wounded bull, she does. Don't you get enough detecting to do during the day? You've you got to go investigating my private life as I'm well, just, do you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm just concerned for a friend, that's Well, you all. can take your concern and jam it, PJ. You know, I told you to mind your own business, and I meant it. Well? Oh, it doesn't seem to be here, mate. Ah, oh, well, Compo, we'll call you back if any more keys come in, OK? Uh, I was thinking... Oh, Compo, don't be thinking. You can give yourself whiplash. Uh, you know how I'm going to become a member of the police force? Well, I was thinking maybe I should hang around the station for a bit and make myself useful, you know, sort of work experience, No, you know? no, no, in fact, no, that's not a very good idea at all, Compo. Why not? Well, well, you, you haven't got any work cover. I mean, if you were to injure yourself while you're on work experience, the force would be liable. I could be very useful, you know, with my contacts around town. I know things that are going on that would surprise you. I haven't been surprised for 20 years. Well, for instance, I happen to know for certain that Stacker Nichols has been knocking off bluestone blocks from roadwork sites. Yours, PJ. So, it's a uniform matter. It's got to be under a thousand bucks. Well, not the way Stacker's been snatching them. He's been using them for his landscape gardening business. I thought you and Stacker were supposed to be mates. Oh, you know how it is when you're in the police service. Demands of justice outweigh questions of friendship. Can I take McKinley? No, McKinley's busy. Uh, uh, take Doyle. Well, boss, I'm catching up on paperwork. Well, catch up with it later. We've got this international ring of gutter thieves to catch. Yeah. So who dobbed me in? Well, Mr Nichols, I'm afraid that any information we receive is confidential. Was it Compo Hayes? Well, it Compo dobbed you in. You're mates, aren't you? Well, you're all as thick as thieves on Cup Day, weren't you? So I thought, you know, could have come up in conversation. Oh, yeah, like how did you go in the Melbourne Cup sweep? And by the way, my mate Stacker's been knocking off bluestone blocks from roadwork sites. Come on. Go on, Stacker, let's go down to the station and have a chat, eh? Gee, the Compo's a turd. Ooh. Uh, Mr Nichols, would you agree that when we talked to you earlier, you were in possession of bluestone blocks that were the property of St David's Shire Council? Yeah, well, the council were putting in concrete guttering and curbing and they didn't want them anymore. Did you ascertain this from the Shire? No, it was obvious. They were just lying around. So why did you take them, Mr Nichols? Well, people like that sort of thing, don't they? You know, edging driveways, plinths, that so sort of thing. So you're going to sell them? No, no, not sell them. I was going to use them in my client's landscape. And... For which you would be paid... Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to need a list of addresses where you used these uh, <clears throat> blocks in the past. What for? The Shire want them back. Tom, this could ruin a bloke's reputation. Yeah, court flogging stuff can do that for you, Stacker, yeah. Yeah, well, they're just lying there like dirt or bush rock. Have you been knocking off bush rock from the National Park again? No. Because it's an offence, remember? Yeah, I know that. I learnt me lesson last time. Not well enough, obviously. Oh, it's all just been a terrible misunderstanding. Yes, mate, of course it has. Now you'll be getting your uh, summons in the next few days. Did you end up having a bet in the cup in the end? Yeah, I did. How'd you go? Oh, not bad, not bad. Picked a winner. A winner, mate. Well done. Yeah. Now, what were the odds of the TAB on there? Oh, uh, I can't remember the precise figures, but they were pretty good odds. Eh? Yeah, well, I, I had a few bets after that, so they kind of drove the figures out of me head. Mm. Uh, sevens, that was it. Sevens? Yeah. Sixes at the TAB. Late money came in, loud the odds. Now, Stacker, you'd tell us if there was an SP bookie operating in town, wouldn't you? Especially when you consider you're in a little bit of strife. You wouldn't want to buy into any more. Well, now I come to think of it, you're absolutely right. It was six to one. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, mate. Before you put a ticket on me truck. Oh, we wouldn't do that. Ta da! So, how did you know? Stacker, oh, we love to have a bet. You also like things on the cheap, so SP odds would appeal to me. And speaking of cheap, which reminds me of free, of which there aren't any free... No free lunches. lunches that's yeah. right. Oh, we're training you, Dash. We're training you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Dash. Just a tick. Thank you. My file of facts. I haven't seen it since yesterday. Now, look, it's got a brown leather cover, notebook, addresses, yes, diary... Yes, well, look, it hasn't that's... turned up here. I'll just get the police lunches. Christine, this is important. It's got a list in it of prospective buyers and if certain people who are my opposition got hold of it... It hasn't been turned into the police station, has it? Uh, no, not that I know of, but I'll check for you, Celia, if you like. Yes, well, I just wouldn't care for anyone to read it. Can't get away from him. Here you go. 
Hey, perhaps if I just had a little look around. Look, Celia, we clean up every night religiously. On their knees. We would have found it, honestly. Usual stacker? Yeah, tail love. Has Compo been in? Um, no, yeah, he was, but he's gone again. He left. <laughs> File effect? Yeah, she reckons she lost it yesterday in the pub and she's very upset because it's got a list of prospective clients in it. Well, it's just an address book, isn't it? Yeah, she's worried that her opposition's going to get a hold of it. She even wanted to search the bar herself. Uh, Celia Donald likes to have a bit in the GGs. No, you're not serious. Well, you know, real estate hasn't been running too hot and she's got herself a brand new car. Have you seen it? Yeah, uh, Celia Donald, SP bookie. No, I can't see it. What do you reckon, boss? I have never known a woman SP in my oh, life. My don't have legal opportunities. Are you saying that? She's got a very good head for figures, that woman. Uh, excuse me, but all I said was that she'd lost a file of facts. Yeah, with a list of prospective clients in it. Now, that's something that Celia should keep locked in her head. But if it was a list of bets, that's something she wouldn't want to lose. <coughs> Compo. Hope you haven't been waiting long, mate. Ah, uh, no, not long. No, nah, good. Of course, you weren't eavesdropping then, were you? Oh, no, as a matter of fact, I'm still a bit hard of hearing from my time in the quarry. <laughs> right, the quarry. Well, how can we help you there, sir? Uh, well, uh, I've become aware that uh, Stacker Nichols was looking uh, for me. Relax, out. Compo. We didn't say who dobbed him in. All oh, right. Uh, well, I've got another tip for you. <laughs> All right, you tell me, mate. Uh, well, I'm answering a call of nature in the facility in the park, right? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm in the cubicle, see, and I hear these two hoons talking, right. saying they're going to knock over the steam pack at Bottolo just on six o'clock. Yeah. So you're in the cubicle, so you wouldn't have seen them. No, no, I was peeping around the door, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jeans, joggers, uh, black T-shirts with skulls on them, yeah. uh, check shirts, you know, oh, tied around right. the waist, yeah. you know, and uh, oh, your baseball caps around the wrong way. Well, mate, you just described half the local high school, and that's just the teachers. Oh, and uh, they had heads on them like robbers' dogs. Well, that certainly narrows it down a lot, Mr Hayes. Look, I'd recognise them if I saw them. If I went with you, I, I could point them out in a second. One pink passion. Thank you. Getting set for tomorrow, huh? Uh, Oaks Day would have to be the hardest day of the calendar. Ladies' Day. Easy to pick the hats than the horses. Oh, I'll have one of those. Thanks, Chrissy. You are, of course, joking. Uh, Celia, how are you? Oh, very well, Dad thanks, Peter. tells me that uh, your file of facts has gone missing. Oh, she shouldn't have bothered you about it. Let's not bother. We are here to serve. Well, it's just that there's a certain confidential matter in it, so if it is found... I've never read your diary, Celia. I'm too easily shocked. Oh, it's hardly detective matter. <laughs> Oh, you planning to give the USP bookie a bit of a thrashing tomorrow, are you? Oh, I'm sure I don't know of any such person, but uh, surely they're illegal these days, Oh, yeah, they are. They're highly illegal. But there's still money to be made with a person who's got a head for figures. Oh, no, I'm hopeless at all that sort of thing. Always need a man to do my sums for me. I believe you. Opinions wouldn't. You blokes to do a lot of this, I'd imagine. Some. It's very, uh, restful, isn't it? You mean boring. No, I mean restful. Mate, it's restful when people don't talk, so don't start up again, will you? The art of conversation isn't dead, you know. Yeah, not while you're alive, mate, that's for sure. You said this guy's going to hit this place at 6 at 6.30. Six Let's go. Yep. Uh, maybe I misunderstood him. Maybe they said they were going to hit him with sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely the steam packet. Was it? I know what we can do. We can drive around and look for him. Get out of this car before no. I charge you with making a false report. No, but we could... Get out of the car, Compo! What are you doing? I'm assaulting you. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I assaulted you. You've got to arrest me. You used to tell me what's going on. You've been hanging around like a bad smell all day, Compo. Are you frightened of Stacker? Is that it? Oh, that lump. You've got to be kidding, don't then you? go home. You've got to arrest me. I don't have to arrest you, Hayes. What is the point of paying taxes if you won't arrest me? Compo, you don't even pay any taxes, so shut up. Well, arrest me for that. I wonder if I did the right thing. Oh, come on, you weren't about to drive him around town looking for two hoons who probably don't exist, please. Jeez, no, not, not that, not that. I mean, yeah, when the Melbourne Cup had just finished. Yeah. And Stacker went over to Compo, and then Compo went into that big song and dance about what great mates he was with all of us. Yeah, yeah. then his room gets trashed and he dobs in Stacker and starts hanging around the station like a bad smell of the white protection. Yeah, mm. well, the thing is, maybe Stacker's the SP, and what if he is? I mean... Compo owes him money. There won't be much left to Compo to pick up after Stacker's finished with him. No, but if Stacker's after him, surely Compo would have said something, wouldn't he? Well, tell us the truth for once. His mouth had seized up on him. <laughs> well, maybe I should have him out of the car. Ah, oh, you old softy, you. Oh. What do you reckon? 
There's nothing you can do unless he tells us what's going on. Look, ten to one on, it's just another one of his scams. Ten to one on, boss. I'm not looking at the new SP, am I? <laughs> checking up on me no I was on my way to work so I thought I'd drop in how's it going well it's, it's going it's going good it's really good ah come in this is this is my room mm-hmm my beloved family oh what a handsome bunch they are well, some of them <laughs> I, uh, I'll show you around yeah that'd be good now uh, this is uh, this is where we do group meetings hi yeah. hi <laughs> Actually, last night's uh, session was good. It was, um, well, I, f I contributed. I mean, the police experience, I was able to tell them some of the end results. It, it was good. Up there's the kitchen. <laughs> That's where I was working this morning. <laughs> cool. Thanks for dropping by. No worries. See ya. Say a hi. Oh, hi, Maggie. I've just been getting a guided tour. It's really impressive. Oh, yeah, well, it's uh, it's about as I wanted. Yeah. yeah and, and Robbie's fantastic. He's making progress already. I'm really happy for him. Well, it, uh, it is early days. I understand that, but uh, he's positive. It's early days, Maggie. No raw egg this morning, Chris. No, that's for special occasions. <coughs> Sorry, Nick, I was just having... No, nah, mate, you're right, you're right. I just want to do, uh, check on Compo. Oh, well, you can come and watch him eat his brekkie, if you like. Zoe so got in last night, did he? Well, I didn't see him, but why wouldn't he? Yeah. Mate, I just wanted to make sure, all right? Uh-huh. I don't know yeah. what that... The police work. You coming too? You can have a tea party with us, Richo. Oh, I was looking for a hard starter, Chrissy. Yeah, well, I'm not actually open yet, but do you want a coffee? Oh, yeah, slip something into it, you know, liven up a bit. Milk, sugar, or both, if you like. Yeah, mate, you good? Oh. Yeah, really good, mate. Better not have slept in the cellar again. Here, do you want to hold this? Compo? Compo, are you here? No, it's not you. Oh. Uh, he'll be at his auntie for niches. Well, no, we rang there from the pub. She hasn't heard from him. And you reckon that yesterday he was trying to get himself locked up for his own safety? Yeah. Well, we can have a quiet word with Stacker. No, I'll take another look around Compo's room. You want to come? We'll take your mind off things. This car's gone too, isn't it? Yeah. Listen, I've got to open up, so I'll see you when you finish. Yeah, right. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Check for his Collingwood T-shirt. He would not leave the building mm. without that. Okay. Yeah. T-shirts. All right, one white, one that used to be. One involving an inflatable sheep. Huh? Oh, and a tasteful picture of a pair of breasts. Yeah. Uh huh. Collingwood T-shirt. It's a slightly beer and meat pie stain. All right. Well, that means if that's there, he did not leave of his own free will. be opened in the event of my disappearance. This is uh, Celia's. Yeah. Bluey, 10 stroke 10, facsimile boy W10. What's that all about? Us? Well, I've seen this before. It means local Bluey bet $10 each way on a horse called facsimile boy, right? W stands for winning bet. Is that Celia's handwriting? Well, it's hard to tell. One of the punters is, uh, is Celia. Stacker? Richo's here too, eh? But there's Lovely. no compo. Oh. Listen, Stack has just rolled in and thumped Richo. I need you downstairs. Oh. Help myself to one, Chrissy. Open yeah, up, mate. Yeah. Let's have a look at the eye. Ah. Mate, Stack of nickels. He whacked you, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. So why did he hit you? I don't know. Just walks in, boom. Then when Chrissy went to get you, Mobby just shot through. But he said something to you before he hit you. No. 
But I was down the end of the bar and I heard him say something. Oh, just the usual stuff before a bloke goes a knuckle on you, you so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. Not really stuff I could repeat in front of the young constable. Oh. Thanks, Richard. But I heard you say, don't know. No, I said don't go. Like, don't go the knuckle on a bloke. Oh, take your word All right, for mate. it. Let's go down to the station, eh? Why? Yeah, just make a statement, lay some charges against Stacker for assault. Uh, Tell us why your name's on an SB's betting sheet, eh? I'm not the only Richo in the world, you know. You're the only one in Mount Thomas. What about that bloke used to be in Parliament? He's called Richo. Are you alleging that Mr Graham Richardson, the former senator, the former federal cabinet minister, is secretly in Mount Thomas betting with a local SP and his whole thing is a case of mistaken identity? It's possible. No, it's not. What happened to reasonable doubt? It's got to be reasonable. Now, are you going to charge Stacker with assault or not? Not. He's my mate. Yeah, well, that's uh, pretty obvious. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Mates can have disagreements and still be mates. Oh, you were both betting with a local SP, mate, weren't no. you? Someone's been using our names. Hey, Richo. Tell me, what are you going to do when Stacker comes around and asks you that question again? I couldn't help him the first time. Won't be able to help him the uh, second. You think you're smart, don't you? Mm. Compo's involved with this, isn't he, mate? I don't see how. He's disappeared. So you say. Bet he doesn't think so. I bet he just thinks he's somewhere else. <laughs> so, have you got any uh, hot tips oh, for us this time, I see? You know me, Thomas. I just pick them with a pin. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, do you two want to run over and fetch a stacker and bring him in for a chance? Oh, does that mean Richo's laying charges? I don't know, mate. Just do it, please. You change your mind. No way. Oh, dear, 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 Richo. What have you done to your poor owner? Just a bit of a misunderstanding. Uh, Celia's come past about her uh, diary. Oh, good. Uh, in here, sir. Oh, well, as long as it won't take too long. I'm off to an Oaks Day party. All right, well, through here. Mm -hmm. Well, you had a good win on the horses yesterday, Celia. Oh, eh? nothing to no. write home about. Let me. Thank you. There you thank go. You. And here we go, one final oh, fact. thank you. Do you mind signing here, please, Celia? What for? Oh, it's just routine when lost property's been collected. Here's some uh, betting slips we found inside the file of facts. I'm sorry? We found them inside the file of facts. Oh, did you? Hmm. They don't belong to me. Oh, not even my writing. Oh, look, they don't even make sense, Pedro. Well, oh, surely a betting woman like yourself, Celia, would recognise some of those horses' names? Well, yes, I now see that some of the horses' names are familiar. Well, you'd recognise the people's names, wouldn't you? Uh, what do we have there? We have Stacker. And we have Celia. Oh, yes, I now see that the name Celia does appear at the top of the page, but I'm not the only Celia in the world. Is there an echo in here? You see, Richo said that he was not the only Richo. And I'm looking forward to hearing Stacker say he's not the only Stacker. Am I being... what do you call it? Grilled. Just tell us who the SP boogie is. I'd love to, PJ, but I've got no idea. And betting with an SP is an offence, Celia. Oh, yes, so I've heard. Now, thank you so much for finding my file of facts for me. Bye -bye. Now, wouldn't you like to know where we found it? Yes, where? Compo's bedroom. Well, I certainly didn't leave it there. Well, it's like dealing with a mafia, a murder, yeah. Well, not forthcoming. Oh, by all accounts, Mount Thomas is swarming with people named Richo and Celia. But no one called Compo. His is the only obvious name not on the list. So you think Compo's the SP? Why not? He's always got one scam and another one. Oh, he's really <laughs> winners here for any bookies' comfort. Uh, Stacker's got winning bets, so uh, Compo dobs on him for the bluestone business, and suddenly Celia's file of facts turns up in Compo's room with the betting slips. Yeah, well, wouldn't he have thought to take a name off the slips? Maggie, this is Compo Hayes we're talking about. The picture of a man running scared. Yeah, well, I just can't see Celia being violent, but Stagger, on the other hand, he's got a history of it. Now, yeah, let's finish searching Compo's room. There you go. I'll leave you to it, eh? Uh, Chris, before you go, has Compo been getting lots of phone calls? Oh, not a lot. Maybe one a day, why? Well, we think he might be working as an SB bookie. Not on my premises, he hasn't. I mean, look, his Auntie Venetia threw him out because of his gambling and he's been going to some sort of group to help him sort himself out, but surely... Well, once a gambler, always a gambler, Hey, I PJ, suppose. take a look at this. Oh, but he'd still have to plug it in and all the calls would still have to go through the switch. Vote him as businessman of the year, eh? Well, you 
not his game, eh? Yeah. You need a hand up? No. What's next, you saying? Oh, you big girl. Uh, oh. You're athletic. Yeah, I've got a bad hammy, haven't I? That's oh, you again. What do you want now? What about an explanation? Hmm? I swear on my mother's grave, I don't know what comp I wanted the phone for. Last time I heard, mate, your mother was alive and well and living in Sandy Creek. You know what I mean? No, I know that when people trot out their mother's graves, I'm being fib to. No, Compo said he helped me set up contacts for my delivery business. That's what he wanted the phone for. But you were betting with him, weren't you? I already told you that uh, there was another Richo. Yes, yes, yes. But we we didn't believe you, did we? All right. Well, you tell me how, if Compo is using my phone to field bets, how I could ring him on my phone, if I didn't have one, on account of he was using it. By using another one? All right, I'll give you that. I could have used another phone. You can't prove it, though. I want to have a bet with you. All right. No, just wait to hear what I'm going to say. I bet you that one of the people on the list is going to roll over and uh, give compo up, and I'm going to become so snaky. You wasted my time. I bet that I'm going to throw the book at you. I was just trying to help a mate get back on the straight and narrow. By letting him use your phone to run an illegal SP bookie business? No, you don't understand. Compo's got a real gambling problem. That's why his auntie Venetia threw him out. He's going to the group therapy bizzo. It's ruining his life. And so we had a yarn, finally worked out that the best way to deal with it was for him to set up as an SP bookie. Richard, this may come as a complete surprise, but an SP bookmaker is in fact involved in gambling. No, he's involved with gamblers. An SP doesn't have to set the odds, he doesn't have to know form. No, that's right. He, he never has to see the horses, he just has to do the sums. Oh, dead set. Gambling and SP bookmaking are actually totally different things. Unless he's not laying off his bets, that means he's in real strife then, doesn't it? So, Richard, tell us where Compo is now. Dunno. Stacker's after him for money, isn't he? Dunno. Ah, that's exactly what you said to Stacker this morning when he asked you where Compo was. I dunno. Might have. I don't know where he is, and I'd be a whole lot better off if I did know. Now, why are you telling us you don't know where he is? Because I don't. No one said he's missing or anything, so why say can't tell us you're innocent? Innocent of what? I don't know, Stacker. Why don't you tell me? Righto, uh, mate, we'll be in touch. Hey, Stacker. Come on through. Yeah, I was uh, having a bet on the nod with Compo Hayes. What was the pity? And then he stiffed me for five gorillas. Well, in standard English for the tape, Mr Nichols, it means that Mr Hayes didn't pay you the $5,000 he'd won. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I just said. Did you burgle his room, sir? No, no, not burgled. I was looking for my own property to wit five grand. All right. Now, how did you feel when you didn't find your $5,000? Well, I felt angry. Angry-ish. Angry enough to uh, contemplate assaulting Mr Hayes? Oh, if I had caught him too right. Well, the tax man's after me for seven and a half grand. So I asked Richard where he was, and Richard wouldn't tell me. So you assaulted him instead? Well, I thought he was holding out on me. Well, if I was wrong, I'm sorry. Stacker, let me ask you a question here. Is Mr Hayes still alive? <sighs> How would I know? Oh, surely you'd know if you killed him. I'm the last one who wants him dead. I need that money. Oh, we've charged him with burglary and illegal betting. It's no it's more sinister than that. Big man with a short fuse. Hey, he might have just gone a bit too far. More likely, uh, Combo took off. If he owes Stack of five grand, he probably no, owes others as well. I'll put a circulation on his car, Roger. Yeah, I'll check the yes, betting list. Uh, uh, Maggie? Yeah? It's um, Thea Copeland on line two for you. Thea, hi. Was it this morning or last night? Right, um, look, I'm sure he's fine. Okay. Mm. Bye. Is Robbie okay? He's left the clinic. Do you want to go and check on him? No, boss, I'm sure he's fine. He's doing really well, thank you. You sure about that? Positive. Oh, 
it's worse than I thought. He's really been taken to the cleaners. I mean, blanks with these sort of losses at top themselves. I wouldn't have thought that he'd be the type, but then again, I wouldn't have thought that he'd be the type to go to group therapy either. Yeah, I wondered about that. I mean, the closest gambler that's anonymous is in St David's. Yeah, oh, we could try and locate someone who knew him there, his sponsor perhaps. Max, the reason they're called anonymous is they're supposed to be anonymous. What about his auntie Venetia? I'll tell you what, if she didn't get the name of his sponsor, the KGB couldn't. Uh, boss, got a lead on compa. Okay, if I take Doyle. What lead? Thea Copeland's clinic. Yeah, Arnie Venetia says he's been doing group therapy for his uh, gambling habit. Thea said that he stayed there last night. I guess that's where he's been hiding. All right, go and dig him out. And why don't you two uh, go out in the van and show everybody that we're still alive? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, if you happen to see Robbie Doyle, bring him in for a cup of tea and a chat, eh? And don't take no for an answer. Robbie's not here. Hey, Jay. We can take a drive around later and check out the local push. Thanks, okay? but no thanks. It's my problem, not yours. Okay. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Oh, I'm sorry I seem to have misled you. Mr Hayes isn't here. Hi. Hi. It, well, he's not here. Well, he arrived yesterday with his overnight bag. He took part in the group and stayed the night. And after you phoned just now, I checked his room and, he, and he's gone. Well, was Robbie in group last night? Yeah. So he and Mr Hayes met? Yes, they seem to get on well. I, in fact, I saw them talking okay, together after dinner and they were quite animated. I, Mount Thomas 509, go ahead. From your office, suspect vehicle belonging to a Mr Hayes has been located at Penhope Park. Ambulance informed and en route. Mount Thomas 509, receive that. Tell them we'll attend. What have you done to yourself, brother? Come around, mate. What have you done? Narcan. He needs Narcan. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. What's happened? What's happened? Oh, mate, he's gone and injected himself. Right. Hey, hey, people, you're coming here. You use these facilities for your filthy drug taking. Oh, these are children. Get them out of here. Hey, Robbie, mate, they're going to be all right. When this Narcan goes in, he's going to be up and fighting yeah. in about 10 seconds. You're going to be right, Robbie. Wait a minute. PJ, I didn't know him. That's all right. I've just taken my lift, right? Take it easy. Take it easy, take it easy. Come here, take it easy. You promised me, Jesse, you promised me. You promised me, Robbie. I don't thank the guys who saved your bloody work then, Robbie. Don't thank them at all. Don't get it out of the thought. Oh, it's not going to be all right. Now I've got Compa Hayes outside. Then deal with him. Uh, he's a bit worried we're going to charge him with running an illegal betting operation and close him down. Well, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, he's just asking for a bit of time to pay his punters back to avoid possible violent incidents. What did you tell him? Well, I said, Compo, mate, sit down, pull yourself together, face the music like a man. And? And if he gave me a list of his punters, I'd go have a chat with them and I'd make them more afraid of me than he ever could be of them. Good old-fashioned country police. Yeah. He said it. Cooper, give me that five bucks. Get out of here. Time to take your money, son. Well, at least you'll get your money back. You can't toss me out after 24 hours and not return your money. Well, I'm sure I'll get my money back, Robbie, but that's secondary, really. Where'd you get the heroin from? Is someone here dealing it? It was in the lining of my bag. Oh. Had it there as some kind of insurance, birthday present, I don't know, to prove I could have it there and not use it. But you did use it. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. And you used Compo Hayes to try and get to Melbourne to buy more. Yeah. What sort of person have you become? It controls you. It, it's cunning. It's a drug. It doesn't have a brain. You do. Look, you don't understand it, and, no, and you never no, will until no. you're in my position. No, I won't. Don't forget your photo. My beloved family. Yeah. Your beloved family. So what is it, bus or train? Well, you could probably get a hitch on the highway. My place. This is crazy, Maggie. You've tried every way possible to help him, and he's tried every way possible to let you down. My place. Or if it's a problem for you, I'll just go inside and call a cab. Unbelievable. You should wake up yourself, Doily. 
Still friends? Best friends. Always will be. I don't know what else I can do. Well, you could admit that you've been beaten. I put myself in hock for him. And he blew it inside 24 hours. Next, what did you expect? Better. Mm. Well, if he wants to use, you can't stop him. People inside jails use. The prison system can't stop him, so what do you expect? But I'm not a prison, PJ, and I'm not his warder, I'm his sister, and I love him. And when he wants to stop, honestly, he's going to need that love. But he needs support now. Well, what, what can you do? He's just dragging you down. He, he doesn't want your support. You hate him, don't you? No, I don't. I just, just couldn't be bothered. I tell you what, Max, I hate the thing that he's doing to you. See, it's not, not the users that I feel sorry for. At least they're getting some pleasure out of it, but it's the sisters, it's the families, it's people trying to support them. Don't you see? But that's all I want to do. Maggie, you can't help him. He has to help himself. <laughs> 